So I mentioned during yesterday's video that there is a trait for the Bloodhounds that I wanted to try out, and we finally got to level 20 with the companionship, so we can actually unlock that and give it a shot today. So if we go into our hunting dog menu, we can go to traits and we can unlock the spotted trait. And basically what it does is gives the dog a chance to highlight a wounded animal that we're tracking. So I'm not sure. I'm going to guess this is mostly useful for like a non-lethal shot. But I wanted to give it a shot today with the water buffalo. So we're going to go down here. They should be drinking by now. And we're just going to make like a terrible shot with a 7 mil and see if the dog can spot them and like kind of how often it'll happen because I could actually see this as like a real potential diamond saver in the future but we'll have to kind of see how it's going to work first. So I think this will actually be a pretty good setup for this. So there are unfortunately two brown female water buffalo but the one on the right is a pretty high weight estimate and just most female water buffalo in general don't reach that so it should be easy to make sure we're on the right track and if we just use the 7 mil and kind of go for like a leg shot there's no way that'll kill it. We will do back leg, and she's definitely hit, so all we gotta do now is kinda let her run off, and we're gonna go over and get on her tracks, and hopefully as we're following her, at some point Rocky is gonna be able to highlight her, and I think it's gonna be maybe a different color, but I think it's gonna be a spot like that. I mean, it's called spotted. We are probably gonna have to deal with this first, but once we get around him, maybe we can go and figure this out, and of course, now bringing the 7 mil maybe wasn't the best idea, but we got a lung. Eventually that's going to bring him down, and it's nice to hear Rocky barking at him. The fact that he'll bark at, like, the water buffalo and stuff as well. Because I'm not sure if we actually got to show that in a video. I know we saw it on the stream. But they do bark at basically anything that goes aggressive, not just, like, wolves or lions and stuff. But I think we might have gotten a gold, or we would have if he was big enough. Two below gold. But let's go and see. If we get on the trail of that buffalo... Like I said, there's no way it's going to die. It's going to eventually stop bleeding. I want to see if he'll highlight it and maybe if he'll do it several times. So we're going to send him off on that track. And I really want to just see everything that this trait has to offer. Because I'm wondering if there's anything that's going to appear like in the bottom right to let us know that that skill is active to maybe look for a spotting outline. Or if we're just kind of waiting to see if it shows up. But the nice thing is water buffalo trot pretty slowly. So we can probably just kind of run behind it. And, like I said, see if this activates, and if it activates often, because there's a lot of potential for, like I said at the beginning, this to be a skill that potentially could save diamonds. And I think I'll explain that a little bit after we see how it works. But I want to just kind of run along here and hopefully get caught up to the water buffalo. Ooh, that does actually work. So it didn't say anything. There was no, like, indication to look for the spotting outline, but it 100% showed up right in front of us. And we'll see if we can actually get in here and make a better shot then. We know roughly that it's headed like left to right because it was outlined for a second or two long enough to let us know like what direction it was going. Which is actually really valuable information, especially when you're maybe trying to rush to get into position for another shot for maybe like a really slowly lethal shot. I'm not sure if this specific scenario we're going to get to like immediately get a shot off. But I'm also wondering... Maybe it would be best if we can just stick with it a bit longer and see if he spots it again. But that actually could be really useful. I like the way that worked. Oh, so he's actually doing it again. I almost didn't even see it. It's only been... I don't know. Like, a minute since he did it last time? I think we may try to alert it and get a shot off just to sort of continue along. We might have to scoot a little closer because of the hill. And he might even do it again for us as we're trying to get in here. But I like that skill a lot, and I think compared to the other one, which would be uh, having him be sharp and have increased focus, I'd probably prefer the spotted skill, so I think that's one we'll definitely keep. So Rocky might have actually just saved us again by going into that critical position, because I heard him whining, and I realized that there was probably an animal close that was about to spook. I'm not sure. I believe there's a trait that like increases the chance for him to do that. Hopefully that's going to be a vital hit this time, and I think it will be at the rate that it's going down. So we should be able to go and get it. I'm pretty sure we don't actually have it yet, or maybe we skipped it, but I thought one of these actually did that. Or actually, yeah, we have this extent, so basically your dog has a higher chance of sensing when an animal's about to be spooked. When they go into that critical position and start whining, that's what they're kind of telling you about. But as far as I'm concerned, that was a very successful test. We got to pretty much do exactly the ideal scenario. We got the lung shot in the end and saved what is, in this case, just a silver water buffalo, but I could definitely see 
situations where maybe it's like a flesh wound on a deer or like a spine shot on a buffalo, something that's going to take a long time, but it would bring the animal down. Maybe having the dog with that trait would give you a random opportunity to get him spotted when you maybe otherwise wouldn't see it. And you can get that shot in there and actually save the diamond. So that's going to be one that I definitely get for my dog in the live game. But anyway, that is kind of the extent of that test. So I think what we're going to do is go and set the time back to the beginning of Black Buck drink time. And we might do a little more Black Buck hunting and probably go for Mule Deer as well. So they're probably not the most interesting Mule Deer bucks, but I want to see if we can actually drop them both. It's going to be tough to actually get two hard shots, but if we can drop two animals side by side, I kind of want to see if the dog has any trouble deciding which to go to. That's one. Unfortunately, we were highlighting... Oh, we got that. All right. Well, I was going to say, unfortunately, we were highlighting the black buck, and I couldn't see where to aim, but we hit something good enough. So we'll just kind of get maybe somewhere in the middle and just see if there's any issues at all with the dog deciding where to go. So we're still kind of away from him. If we have him track, I'm just curious what he's going to do. I imagine he's going to just choose whichever one is closer. But actually, I would guess that's the one that's a little farther away. It's hard to say. I mean, they were both roughly the same distance. But glad that he didn't have any issues just choosing one. And then, of course, once we have him get this one, getting to the other one is going to be quite simple. And now that he actually found it, we can claim that. That's just going to be a silver. We'll also have him sit down and reward him, because I saw he's down to just content, so we'll get that taken care of. And then we'll get the other one and have him find that, just to gain a little bonus XP. And actually along the way he leveled up to 13 as a tracker, but I wondered. We did hit him in the neck. Kind of lucky. But again, we'll actually praise Rocky and give him a treat, just to try to max out any XP we're gaining. And we're going to continue our way up this west side. I really don't know much about Black Buck in this area, but I'm hoping there's some maybe a little further north of us. Ooh, well, I guess we should try to get that. Not something that we've seen a ton of lately. Not gonna help that we have, like, no breath. I think, though, at the range that it is, it should be doable. Just might take a little bit of getting our breath back and figuring out how far away it is. Let's look at the map. It's about 170, so we're probably close. Just need to figure out the lead. There we go. So I'm curious now, because we had a Mallard over on Layton, and it wasn't level 3 or anything, but when we shot it and had the dog try to track, it crashed the game. And I think we're going to try it again, even though this is probably a Diamond Mallard. And I think we got lucky, and it landed on that little bit of land in between the water. So at least we aren't stuck here waiting. And actually, this will be a good opportunity to answer the question, because I've seen it asked a ton of times if the dogs can, like, retrieve birds or do anything for ducks and geese. And these ones can't. These are just tracking dogs. They don't do any kind of retrieving or anything like that. I would say that, especially with bloodhounds seeming to be so good, I wouldn't be surprised if retrievers are added at some point in the future. But if we get up here to our duck, we're definitely close enough. There's no kind of option to retrieve or anything. We'll send them to track and see. I wonder... I mean, we have a black screen now, but do ducks cause that? So we're kind of going to miss out on potentially a diamond cinnamon teal. But anyway, that's something worth actually pointing out. So anyway, I'll pass that information along so they can hopefully be fixed. But I would definitely recommend, if you have a duck down, not having the dog track anything until you've claimed it. Especially if the duck or any other animal that you have down is something that you don't want to lose. But luckily... We're just in the early access period anyway, so it's not like we could actually keep that duck. But I did want to go and look for a black buck again, and I think this is a respawn of the, like, narrow one we shot in yesterday's video. And it's another pretty good one. It's also a pretty far shot. That looked good. Looked like I hit him kind of right behind the shoulder. And I think it's a long shot, so we can go and have Rocky track that. I think this might actually be one of the more massive sets of horns. He's a 123 scorer. And yeah, there's less kind of spirals and just more mass to it. And I like these a lot. And I don't know that we've got one like this in a video. I'm pretty sure the only one we got that was like high scoring was actually on the stream. So we'll probably taximize that again to kind of compare with the others. And we'll give Rocky a treat for actually finding that. I don't know where some of these animals are coming from, but if we can get over here. I don't think that was a lung shot. I was kind of hoping it might be neck. See if we can try to save that, because I don't think that's going to kill it. 
it might give us some kind of opportunity when it goes to trot here. Just as we started to lose breath, I think we still got him. It may actually have something to do with the fact that animals are getting to their zones on time has apparently been fixed in this update. And maybe there's just more than I'm expecting in areas that I didn't know they'd be. But I definitely had no idea there was another black buck down on that end. I'm pretty sure just looking at it that it is just a silver. Let's actually praise him so he hopefully stops barking. And we actually, I wondered, we hit him so close to perfectly in the brain. But end up being just skull and ruining the silver anyway. But another bonus black buck as we're going along. And that's kind of another sort of anomaly. I don't see a lot of level 4 black buck in the lower estimate. But he's only 38 to 44 kg. And at least that time, we're not hitting him in the skull. So if he can make gold and I didn't actually pay attention to the high end of the score estimate, he should actually get there. I'm curious because he's kind of wide like that one level 3 we shot. He is just a silver, but he's very close. 0.3 below. And I think we talked about that last time it didn't actually get a silver level 4. I figured it probably was possible. And good to know that it actually is. Oh, there we go. 125 to 142 level 5 black buck. Now, I mentioned yesterday, we did have a troll one on the live stream, but I feel like it's max estimate. It was like 129. And I think it's 132 point something for diamond. And I don't know where they're going. Unless he's with that one, which it kind of looks like it is. Because it's only 11 o'clock. We have time to get in there and get like a decent shot. He looks better than the one we shot on stream for sure, though. It looks to me like he's got more of everything. Like better mass and uh, taller horns. We want to get into about 250, which is kind of the closest we can get here. We can get a little closer since the water is shallow. But since we have him broadside, I think we'll try to go for that when his head's up. He does look good, though. Hopefully this one's not going to troll us. Hopefully we can actually make this shot as well. Well, I guess that counts. So, not going to need a lot of tracking from Rocky, but that's pretty cool. I spent way too long trying to get this to work, and you can actually see like all the grass that's kind of matted down. But, I don't think we did that. Apparently he's just going to lie down. It's actually kind of nice as well, though. Might just go with that then. It's almost like he's lying there, letting us know that he found it. And we actually didn't have him find this one, but I want to know what this is as our second level 5 black bug on this early access period, and it is a diamond at 137.5, so that's like 5 above. That's really nice looking horns too, so 52 on the horn length, and a 22 spread, and pretty solid circumference throughout. Like, they stay almost the same between the second and third uh, quarter, and then by the time it gets to the end, they're a lot less, but good mass on that one. That's really cool to finally get a diamond one, and actually a 240 meter hard shot. Not too bad with that either. But yeah, it'll be good to compare that alongside all the gold ones we shot. Well, I guess just to see the other side of the spectrum, we're going from a diamond to what I would guess is probably going to be a bronze mule deer. I mean, five minimum on the score estimate is insane, but we have to go for that. I was hoping we could maybe drop it into the heart, but definitely got him in the lungs. I don't know what my worst mule deer ever is, but that's got to be close. We'll actually praise Rocky for finding that real quick. And that's going to score 51 as a bronze. If only we could actually keep that for the Hall of Shame, because that is probably at least the smallest track one we've had. There's not much point to actionizing it, because like I said, we can't keep it. But we'll give Rocky a treat, and actually we're going to head back to the Trophy Lodge, because I really want to see the Troll Black Buck next to the actual diamond. Especially when the diamond's like a decent size one at, what was it, 137 I think? So let's go and take a look at that. So these two side by side are the Troll Level 5 from the stream and the diamond from today. And I actually think it's most visible when you step back. The diamond's about 10 higher scoring, and you can see where it comes from. Like, he's got more consistent mass throughout, which would definitely contribute to the overall score. And then the length of the horns, obviously the diamond just has higher, taller horns, and it just looks really good. And I actually can't wait to get to hunt these guys again, because I feel like when Black Buck were released with Parquet Fernando, they were such common diamonds that, like, the value of getting one was never that high. But now with them looking that good, and at least seeming pretty rare, 
it should be good to actually get to hunt them and hopefully add some to the wall in our actual trophy lodge. But anyway, that is going to do it for this video. So thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.